Right, we're recording. Good morning. Good morning. It's replacing the coil pack. That's right. Yeah. Obviously, if you come around this side, Dogdale. Okay. <laughs> On this polo model, you've only got the two bolts there and the one up in there. But it's always worth putting a mark on the old uh, leads first for one, two, or oh, sorry, one, two, three, and four. So you know which way you put them around when you go put the new one on. So we're just going to pop them off, hopefully. That's the plan. Okay, we'll pop them off when they come off. Right. It's one bolt. Take, them, take the HTDs out, loosen them off first because you find it easier. And apparently, they twist. In what direction, I don't know, but... Uh... Do you want me to start again? <laughs> no, it's alright. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Some way. Oh, it's not that way. I don't think it's that way. Do you want the cover off? Hmm, I think we might have to take that cover off. I was hoping to do it without the cover. But, uh, it breaks on off easier. Note to self, don't touch the hot engine. <laughs> it's a little bit warm. Mm. Now, see, now the only reason I'm taking this cover off is just to get easier access. Pop that out of the way. Come on. Basically, we're just swapping this bit here for this bit here. That's what it looks like. Did it set you back much money, Dogdale? Not really, no. Just about 60 quid, that's all. 60 quid, there you go. Yeah. Cool, Pat. Got any good jokes? Hmm. Not that I know of. About a cars. Cars. Low in a Ford. I know that stands for fix it or repair it daily. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's one for a Volkswagen though, it's a bit long. Uh. All right. What's going on here then? It does twist, it does move, but. A little bit tight. Let me see. Oh, it's a little bit warm down there. Quite a nice engine, Doctor. You like it, do you? Yeah, I think it's easy to get to. <laughs> There's a bit more space. That's not how I found it. <laughs> Fine with this, that mm. if you want to replace this headlight bulb, you've got to take the battery out. Yes. <laughs> One of the most easy thought of jobs. People think they're easy. <laughs> And when it actually comes to doing it, it's a difficult job. Uh huh. Last one, huh? 
And that's two. So that's the old one out. Cool. That's just literally it. Mm. Three bolts and four leads. So this should solve the answer. Of the uh, problems you've been having, don't you? Not to yeah. tell the ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I've been having problems starting the car. Well, not problems starting it, but just getting it going after short journeys. It is able to get going, but the ignition just won't. What's the word, Chris? Just having intermittent starting problems. Basically, yeah. One day it will start perfectly fine, the next day it won't. And after trying everything and absolutely everything, it's all come down to this. That's it, back one. Beautiful. See, I had a problem there. My marker pen had been rubbed off by my <laughs> greasy hands, so I couldn't tell what number was what. Up like that. Slide that part back in. Just make it tight for now. Made the engine look better, that's for sure. Oh, it's the shiniest bit on the car, don't Yeah, it's now is, yeah. You have to keep it polished. <laughs> it's like playing with a lady's nipples. <laughs> Just a little bit more firm. <laughs> and less solid. <laughs> Pop that back on. Once it clicks in place, you should hear a click. I think I heard a like click. So. Yeah. Obviously not loud enough for you guys to hear. <laughs> then pop the chocolate box plastic back on. Any more jokes in general? Any more jokes in general? <laughs> uh, not a part, if we're going to go on to jokes, two nuns walking to a bar, I've got a few of those. Alright then. Just for the viewer's pleasure. Need two nuns walking to a bar. Ouch. <laughs> I, I saw that coming. <laughs> King of bad jokes, me, Dog Dog. I thought that was me. <laughs> It's in there. It's in the new coil pack. Mm. How shiny it is. It's a common fault when you get intermittent starting problems like that. Most yeah. people will just immediately replace mm. the battery mm -hmm. or have a look at the starter motor. Uh, worth, like I did. <laughs> it's always worth pulling out your uh, spark plugs, checking the end of your HD leads. Have a look at the end of the spark plugs, check the gap on them and if they're black. The most common fault would be a cool pack. So what's the next thing after this then? What, if the starting problem still continues? Yeah. Um, to be quite frankly honest, it shouldn't. New car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can get a new car if you like, Dovetail. So, put that back in properly. Righty tighty and lefty loosey. Okay. Jobly lovely, job done. Anything else you want to say about the ignition call? Any facts? Um, yeah, 
If it doesn't work after this dugdale, don't call me. I didn't touch it and I was never there. Fine. <laughs> Job done. It's the most common fault for a misfire or bad starting. Okay. Because on your bad starting, if that's not good enough spark, no. it won't start. Okay then. What other, what other symptoms mean a bad ignition coil? It's generally it, just... Misfire. Misfire and struggling start. to start. Just, just like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's awesome. And if that doesn't cure it, then it goes down to major, which is your main ECU unit. Uh, which operates your quarterback. Which is a lot more work involved. Right then. Yeah, and we're starting to play with electrics then, which is never a good idea. No, we don't want that. Right. But that already right. come. That would all light your dash up with the engine management light. ECU. Like it, yeah, like it has a couple of times. They're saying. Okay, that's and fine. Right. 